Welcome Mitsubishi. My name is Mason, and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe Highlander 4x4. Now, what we'll do is run through the condition of the car as well as some of the features. Being the Highlander model, it does come with the luxury features that you don't really get in the other models. So, we are going to touch on exactly what they are in this specific car. Now, starting off on that front end, you've got that very beautiful chrome finished grille with the Hyundai badging in the middle there. Now, being the um, Highlander model, does come with the front parking sensors which are color matched into the bar quite beautifully they blend in quite well and you've also got that plastic undercover there just to protect the car from actually damaging anything seriously if you do actually um, happen to get some rocks flying up or whatever it might be in the front of these fog lamps uh, sorry in the front bar are fog lamps fitted with the daytime running lamps below that that is going to improve the visibility in all kinds of conditions your regular driving and also those cloudy foggy mornings like we have been seeing in the past few weeks now the headlights are a very big broad headlight they do come fitted with the projector globe in there as well as the high beam light and your indicator lamp is fitted into the corner. Now these also come with headlight washers. That's what this little panel is. These will actually pop out, spray some water out to keep the headlights nice and clean uh, and give you a really good um, dispersion of light. I actually just noticed that you do also get a sensor here. So you actually got six sensors on the front of the car, two in the front and one on the side of either side of the car. Coming across to the driver's side, taking a look at that first alloy wheel, you've got a very beautiful pattern on there. It is quite a unique uh, rim, I've got to say. It's got a very um, silvery uh, finish on the inside and that polished aluminium on the outer side of the spoke. It actually gives a really nice contrast and a nice rolling effect when the rim is actually rolling. Now, we have fitted brand new tyres onto this car at the time of this video, so you've got brand new tyres fitted onto the front of that rim and that rim also presents in very good condition. Taking a look at the driver's side door, this car comes fitted with a color match side mirror with the indicator lamp fitted in there that is going to elevate the lamp and actually clear up that quarter panel for you and in addition to that it does also have that chrome finish on the door handle. Being a Highlander they do come with the keyless entry so you do actually get a physical key in with the remote that is to actually unlock the door but you do also get the keyless remote to lock and unlock it. There is also a button on the actual handle to open that up. If I open that up and you get the camera person to come around and have a look inside the car, this car actually presents in very good condition. You can see that the seat bolsters are still quite firm. There's no wear and tear marks. It even smells quite good in here. It actually has a very good condition and very well uh, maintained on the interior. Yeah, there's a little bit of creasing here and wear and tear, but it is a five-year-old car. And considering that, it has been looked after phenomenally. Um, electric seat controls also in this model, you can move them up and down, forward and back with the lumbar support in that little uh, toggle there. Carpet, carpets are in very good condition and on the door trim here, you get the Santa Fe um, scuff guard just to protect the paintwork on the inside of the door frame. Door card also presents in good condition, you can see no one's really damaged it when they're kicking the door open. You tend to see a lot of lazy people kick the door open, it shows how well the previous owner has been maintaining it, so well looked after. Now these doors also actually go all the way to the bottom if you can see that. Um, the bottom half of the door, uh, bottom corner of the door does have a plastic cover just to protect the car from any stones and uh, getting any stone chips and damage to the actual car itself but um, that goes all the way to the bottom. Now the benefit of that is it's actually going to keep this part of the door nice and clean so when you're getting in and out of the car you're not going to be picking up a lot of the dirt and dust from outside. Now I will note the car also does come with the privacy glass so if you're wondering why this back glass is a little bit darker than the front that is just to add a bit of privacy so no one's going to be looking into the back of the car. Now it doesn't actually come with the added benefits of tint. So if you did want to get some tint fitted, which we do highly, highly recommend, please come and speak to us about our premium tint options because you're going to want to protect this car and protect the passengers inside it. Opening up the back row, if you have a look in the back of this car, these seats also present in good condition. There's a slight marking here or an indentation in the leather but it's not actually damaged the leather it's not pulled it it's not torn it it's just a little bit of a print probably from a car seat or something like that but the leather on the actual seats itself are in very good nick you can see no wear or tear no damage and you've also got those adjusters to actually adjust the lean on the back of the car so very flexible car to use carpets in the back are in good condition and the back of the seats are also present really well if you close this up and have a look at that second rim, now this rim also presents in excellent condition. These have, um, they don't have the brand new tyres fitted but you've got some hand cooks on the back here with lots of tread on it so we haven't had to replace those tyres and you've got great tread um, all the way around. A little bit of scuffing at the bottom of that rim but other than that, that rim is actually in very good condition. If you come across to the tailgate of the car, 
very wide vehicle. You've got your Santa Fe badging, all-wheel drive badging, and Hyundai badging all in that nice chrome finish. Rear parking sensors all the way along that uh, rear bar. Um, you've actually got only four in the back and six in the front, and also a reverse camera mounted just under the Hyundai badging. Up the top here, under the roof spoiler, is a high-mounted brake light better visibility for the other drivers on the road and also that wiper blade with the aerial antenna on the top. If you actually open this up, being the high Highlander, it does come with an automatic tailgate. So that's going to open up very comfortably and easily. You do also get controls inside the car to open that if you wanted to. There are also uh, controls on the remote as well. Now, being a seven-seater model, it's good to see that it has the flexibility to drop down and utilize the boot space. So these back row seats are going to fold completely fat, flat, sorry. So you're not actually losing any boot space, but you've got a lot of room you can utilize. There are vents also in the third row, which you don't really see in many cars. So good to see you've got some vents fitted, a 12 volt socket, and also this little feature here, uh, you've got a lever on either side of the car. Pulling that is actually going to drop those middle row seats. So if you need it again to utilize a full boot space, you can do that. Um, Make sure all the headrests are down and that's going to drop almost flat. So it's not completely flat in the second row. There's a slight incline if you can see that, but um, for the most part it is pretty flat. So if you're going to be transporting anything, you can still use it. If it's probably for pets or animals, maybe it's not ideal depending on what your preference is. Car seat mounting points in the back of the second row. There are no, ca no car seat mounting points in the back of the third row. Please keep that in mind. Cargo blind and all your jack and tools for um, the car is underneath. That and the spare wheel is mounted underneath the bottom here and from what I can see that is a full-size spare wheel and it looks like it's never been used either so very good condition in this car there, and you can also use that button to actually close it. Now these boots also have a responsive system so quite a light touch if there is someone under the boot it's gonna not, it's gonna make sure it bounces back up and not actually hurt anyone or any little ones so I must say which is more important and if I just put this seat back up like so, so you can have a look in the car. Uh, fuel filler cap is on the passenger side of the car, which is the safe side. So if you have to pull over in case of an emergency, you're gonna be nice and safe. Now this paintwork, I gotta say, presents an amazing condition. It's a very bluey, gray color. Um, it does have a metallic finish, which you can see in the light. It glistens quite well. And this paintwork actually presents really well. One thing I would highly recommend is you speak to us about our glass coat, because that is gonna give you a lifetime warranty on this paintwork. And we can package that in with some beautiful tint for you make it a nice comfortable bundle uh, and fit it all in there into a comfortable price. Now if you have a look at that third rim, that rim, generally this is the side with the most damage so I'm going to be quite picky but that rim presents in excellent condition. You've got those hand cooked tires on the back. Continuing through, paintwork is still very consistent on the car and the fourth and final rim, generally one with the most damage, is completely unmarked and no damage. There's just a little bit of glue residue from the brand new tires we have fitted on there. So you've got Four great rims on this car. Brand new tires fitted onto the front and lots of tread remaining on the back. Paintwork around this car is actually phenomenal. It has been looked after really well. It's a very well presented car. What we're gonna do now is actually pop the hood and take a look inside. Taking a look inside the engine bay of the Santa Fe. Now what we have here is a four cylinder, 2.2 liter turbo diesel motor. Now this car does also come fitted with a six speed automatic gearbox. So lots of gears to move through, gives it a very comfortable ride. This car is a five star ANCAP rating with seven airbags. So lots of safety for the passengers in the car. This motor produces 145 kilowatts with 436 newton meters of torque. So again, lots of torque and power for any payload needs. And if you do plan on doing any light towing, as I said, it is a 4x4 on-demand vehicle. It does have a diesel tank with a 64 liter capacity. It does have a combined fuel consumption of 7.3 liters per 100 kilometers, or an average fuel distance of about 877 kilometers off a full tank, depending on how you drive and how many people are traveling in the car. Taking a look inside the Hyundai Santa Fe Highlander. Now, as I said, being the Highlander, I do get a lot of very nice features in this car. We are gonna to touch on exactly what they are, but and also most of the condition. Now starting off on that driver's side door, get a very nice door card on the right here with that leather armrest, with the beautiful stitching in there, very fine stitching, lots of details and different textures used as well, just to break it up, make it not look so boring. So on the driver's side, you do get a fully automatic window. Um, the rest of the windows are your standard electric windows. Above that is your central locking and your window lock control. Up here, just above the handrest is your side mirror toggles. There is a little button to actually fold your side mirrors in if you wanted to. They actually have a very nice angle to kind of fold up. Um, and you've also got your side mirror toggles in the middle there as well. Up here near the door, door handles, you've got your two seat presets. 
well this is adjusting way past where I wanted it to go but you've got two seat presets there which you can um, have obviously two different settings so if you've got two different drivers in here you can adjust that accordingly on the right side of the dash the top left button here is your downhill descent for um, your cruise control that is going to maintain the speed when you're rolling down the hill you have your brightness illumination for your cluster your four-wheel drive or your all-wheel drive lock your lane keeping or lane yeah lane keeping your active eco that is just going to save you a little bit of fuel on the car it's going to drop the revs down and you've also got your stability control button um, your fuel release cap is uh, your hood release cap sorry is just over there uh, and your fuel release cap is somewhere which I can't quite see at the moment but it is there um, the on the right hand stock of the steering wheel are your left and right indicators your fog lamp controls and your headlight controls now these have an automatic dusk sensing system just leave it in auto and the car is going to sense when it needs to use it and on the left hand side are your wipers and washers again both front and rear and they are again an automatic system just leave it in auto and the car is going to sense when it needs to use it very comfortable features now the steering wheel is a beautiful leather stitch steering wheel with very soft leather and that you can see there's no real wear or tear on the steering wheel itself so you can see it has been um, driven quite carefully on the right hand side are your cruise control settings so you got cruise control rest set and this little button here is actually for your steering mode so you got normal sports and comfort it'll just adapt the actual steering and responsiveness of the transmission below that down here there's a little card now that is actually for the settings in your little display on your dash so that's going to go give you a fuel range your lane departure warning system um, your uh, servicing intervals and just some other user settings like your doors and lamp settings um, and this is just to go down and go back so that is all the controls there for that um, on the left hand side are your uh, media controls so volume seek mode and mute and also call and reject for your bluetooth connectivity now this is a keyless entry car so the stop start button is here the most important button in the car coming over to the entertainment system now you've got um, a very nice touchscreen head head unit it does integrate beautifully into that fascia kit and the head unit um, up here you've got your cd input um, and a clock timer so you can just keep that button active if you want the clock on the top uh, the Head unit is a touchscreen head unit, so you've got a fully responsive touchscreen head unit with the hard buttons below that. As you can see, it does come with inbuilt navigation in the system, um, which is very good to see. And you've also got your AM, FM radio, Bluetooth radio, um, oh, sorry, not Bluetooth radio, but your Bluetooth connection and also a CD input as well as auxiliary. So pretty much everything you could need for your music output and also navigation in the head unit touchscreen and hard buttons below that is your um, AC so you've got front and rear demisters AC and your AC rear so as, a, as you can see you've got vents on the back of the um, second row and also on the third row being the very back of the car your circulation or ventilation you've got your climate control uh, which will come up the top there you see you can also again control it through that or you've got the hard buttons down here so temperature uh, dual zone climate control um, driver and passenger have their own settings and the fan speed in the middle there down below there's a very generous storage compartment with two 12 volt sockets um, and a usb and auxiliary input um, for your head unit and behind that you've got a very nice leather shift uh, leather gear shifter sorry if i bring that into reverse you can see that very clear rear view camera that also comes in the model you've got the back parking sensors and the camera that's going to help you parking a vehicle like this and the rear bar very visible at the bottom there now if i bring this down into drive and actually flick it to the left that is going to engage the car's sports shift system so flicking through the gears you can have a bit more added control over the gears yourself if you did want that and those gears would display on that left cluster um, in the dash bringing that up to um, park you've got your electric electric park brake here and these two buttons here are for your heated seats and cooling seats you've got heated seats and ventilated seats both heating and cooling for driver and passenger you've got your auto hold button on the right your parking sensor button on the left you can turn that off if you wanted to and also um, your park assist over here you've got two uh, cup holders another little compartment for storage and you've also got a very big storage compartment in the middle here with lots of space and a shelf in there if you wanted to add maybe keep some loose change or some other things like that now i'll get the camera person to actually pan up and around show you the condition of the car and up on the roof you've got that full sunroof so full shade if I um, open up the shade, you can actually control it. So if you just want to cover maybe half of the car, you can do that adjusted however you want to. And you've got that full panoramic roof. So moon roof at the back, sunroof at the front. And you can also open that fully like so. 
and that's going to open up the sunroof there again fully automatic so you just have to hold it down for a second and that'll close up and I'm going to close that shade as well just to get that glare it is a little bit of a warmer day today which is nice to see you've also got your tailgate release just at the top here and your lighting on the middle little storage compartment for your sunglasses and you've got that um, electric rear view mirror now that has got an on button and a bearing setting so you can um, enable your bearing to see whether you're northeast southwest and also this is going to actually dim the uh, rear view mirror so if there is a car high beaming at the back or whatever it might be and it's quite bright this is actually going to dim it for you automatically so you're not getting blinded by the person behind you i'll get the camera person to pan around the back seats as well um, Back seats are in excellent condition. There is a 12 volt charger at the back here if you want any additional storage. And also rear heating seats. The second row seats also have heating and they are located on the door panels. So um, just near the window controllers, you've got that heated seat option. So you've got two options there, very hot and low temperature, which is, again, you don't really see that in many models. In addition to that, there is also a shade in the actual back window. If I get the camera person to pan around this side, you can actually lift up the shade and that is going to give you good shade inside the car itself keep you nice and cool especially on days like today but you can see that the leather inside presents well like i said there are a few little dents in the actual leather itself but nothing too major it's not actually damaged you just left a print in there but these seats are in excellent condition so what we're going to do now is actually jump outside and wrap up this video Thank you so much for watching the walk around video on this 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe Highlander. Now, I hope the video gave you a good representation as to the condition of the actual car, the condition of the paintwork, the rims, as well as the interior itself. Apart from a few little wear and tear marks, this car actually presents in very, very good condition. And the leather is in good tack, the door trims are in good condition, um, the exterior paintwork is also in very good nick. You've got a very good rep uh, example of a well-maintained car. Now, if you did have any additional questions, wanted to test drive this car, or actually wanted to purchase it before you came in, you can do that. The number to dial is 99070555. Now, just before I go, this car does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. Now, what that will offer you is five years extended protection up to 200,000 kilometers, and that is going to cover you for 181 electrical and mechanical components of this car. Now, the best part of this is it actually comes with 10 years platinum roadside assistance nationwide. So all in all, this is a great value bundle and please speak to us about this. With that, one thing I would highly recommend you take advantage of is the lifestyle pack. Now, what that will offer you is exterior protection or a ceramic coating for the paintwork, which is going to protect it from all the environmental factors such as fading, oxidization, rusting, peeling, all those kinds of things, uh, bird droppings, bat droppings, you know, you got to make sure you protect your investment. With that, you also get a tinting. So we are going to uh, put the premium level tint on your car, give it, blend it beautifully with the backs and the fronts. And also we all know the benefits of tint. So make sure you take advantage of this. Now being the lifestyle pack, that also comes with interior leather protection. So as the car is fully leathered, you want to make sure it's protected. It's much easier to clean and maintain. And again, the best part of this is it's all going to come with a lifetime warranty. So again, make sure you ask us about this and take advantage of these offers while you can. These two things are at an additional cost, but if you are using our in-house finance, I would love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who will show you just how real little, just how minimal these will really affect your repayments. Now, lastly, but most importantly, jump on a Google and search up Beric Mitsubishi. See what people have to say about us. With our Google reviews sitting at over 1,100 reviews and 4.8 stars, gives you the assurance as a buyer that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a really good quality vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Mason and thank you so much for watching.